it's great to see, uh, you know, some kids, you know, being able to get back some of that stuff that, uh, you know, we were losing there throughout all of these uh, COVID times we've been dealing with. Let's bring it right into that weather forecast. We have been talking about the uh, chance here of some thunderstorms, and we really just want to give you the lay of the land so you can see where the instability is right now and what our chances are as we head through tomorrow. And you can see this red flag fire warning in effect until 11 p.m. tonight. It's off to the north over Mount Shasta. We have some lightning strikes. You can see it right there near the California and Nevada border. Just takes one lightning strike to spark a fire, so that's why we are paying such close attention to this bone dry conditions out there. So once again, some lightning in the forecast here wind gusts off to the north of 40 miles per hour and we're paying attention to this because these same storms you can see right here uh, our chances will be moving off towards the south as we roll through tomorrow so let's show you how things are going to develop uh, time bar is right here at the top 1 30 tomorrow morning uh, we have some fog and drizzle down here for us still some isolated thunderstorms there to the north but then as we roll through tomorrow morning watch over the sierra you're going to start to see things bubble up here once we hit 11 30 in the morning even some snow at the highest elevations. So it gets going there, then eventually we'll see some of that instability move towards us right there. Ukiah and Guerneville, some isolated thunderstorm chances there. But again, it's too close for comfort. Thunderstorms, as I mentioned earlier, uh, they are usually very rogue. We get a little bit piece of this breaking off. We could see it move down towards Napa and Santa Rosa. So that's why we are paying attention to this. That's why we're giving you this early heads up. Even into 8 p.m., we're seeing that thunderstorm activity right around Guerneville and through the Central Valley. And we'll hold on to some of this activity uh, right there near Gilroy and the Central Valley into 3 a.m on Sunday, so it's kind of to the north and the east of us for the most part, but again, it's just so close. So we're going to keep a very close watch on this, of course, as we head through this weekend. Otherwise, as we start off for tomorrow morning, we get that fog back with us and it's going to be chilly temperatures in the low 50s, so kind of a gloomy start, but you know, on a Saturday morning might actually help you sleep in a little bit later. If you've had a long, busy week back at the office, this will be good for you. 51 in the East Bay, San Francisco 52, and we got those clouds as well over the North Bay and 48. Daytime highs tomorrow because of that foggy breeze will not get too hot. Remember last weekend we had those 80s and a few low 90s. Well, this weekend we're back down to 72 in Livermore, 73 in Concord, 70 in Napa, 68 in Santa Rosa, and then we got our cold 50s right there at the coast. On my seven day forecast you'll see in San Francisco. We do have some on and off wind as we roll through next week. Monday 15 to 25 miles per hour. Then we're at 15 to 30 next Wednesday and Thursday. We'll keep those daytime highs in the 60s, morning lows in the 40s to low 50s. And across the inland valleys, I think you'll be very happy with these temperatures over the next seven days. We're going to stay in the 70s right where we should be. The only thing of concern besides Saturday and that thunderstorm chance would be some wind, dry wind next Wednesday and Thursday. We'll also keep an eye on. So a lot of different moving parts here, but I think overall at least those temperatures are down for us as we head through the uh, next week or so.